Thursdays? Yeah, but we're mostly excited. Whatever you guys can dream up for the final 13, we're excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was, it was, yeah, it was, uh, that's tough because it's the fans. You know, I really wanted to design a love letter uh, to the fans and, uh, you know, kind of answer everything that, that, that they, they would probably want to answer. It was a tough, uh, it was a tough thing because the emotions happen and you're saying goodbye to these these characters that you've just, I mean, I adore and it's tough, you know, it's really tough. But I think it's the end, you know, and, and I knew once I came up with what was going to happen that it was the end, you know, and it was, uh, 13 was enough to, to tell the story. You know, I always knew where, every season I like to figure out where I'm going because I'm just not that kind of writer. I know there's guys that can do that. I can't do that. I have to know exactly what I'm doing and because and I, I work heavily in themes and for me to understand them and make them pay off, I need to know where I'm going or else, you know, I, I'm dead. <laughs> so um, uh, it always starts with what am I trying to say as an artist <laughs> about the world? How am I using fringe as a metaphor? <laughs> Selfish. Um, uh, but uh, it's a bit different this year because I'm looking at this like a saga, you know, like a 13 episode feature film. The emotional relationships will be much more continuity, and much more incontinuity. And um, you'll, you'll be able to follow week to week for the emotional mistakes that are going on. Um, it was really important for me to get an odyssey for, for Peter, an odyssey for Walter, and an odyssey for um, uh, Olivia. And you're going to be watching those. Because I think emotionally, you know, we have so much to work with, and, and there's enough. You know, and I, what I didn't want to do is be tricky and be clever and, you know, too clever. And like everybody's like, wait, where are we now? I just want to say, no. That's part of my reasoning for saying, you know, staying in the future, because I think that it's stabilized and, and there's a common front that they have to fight. And then there's there's exactly, you know, what are they going through as human beings existentially? What are they experiencing? Why are they here? Why was the show on? What was the purpose of it? And, um, you know, so so that, that that's kind of how I did it this year. I just said, well, you know, I'm going to just make sure that there's three suites of episodes, essentially, um, you know, and uh, they're all movements, like an orchestra. Will we see how the team got trapped in the yes. summer? Yeah, you're going to understand that. Um, you know, and that's what, I mean, I find that stuff really interesting um, because I, I just wanted people to come back and go, wow. You know, this is such a crazy world to kind of be in it because visually it's really exciting. And you know, I just, want, I mean, I'm, I thought, well, it's fascinating. Like, okay, so she was here, and then they were there, and somehow they get it, got Amber, and then somehow, like, what happened? They got separated from the daughter, and then in 2015 the observers came. This is wow. Like, okay, what happened? So that while they were sleeping, you know, so I thought, well, that's really cool. Like, there's a French team from the past that's now in the future, and they need to save the world. Like, I'm in. Where do I sign up? You know. So I thought that was really cool. So I wanted to, 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 to bring that to the forefront, you know, and, and you're going to understand all of that. Yeah. So after the first season, um, I talked to you about how many universes you guys were going to have, and you guys were like, only two, I promise. And then it became a little bit more. And so I'm wondering if now in this final season, are we going to see those universes basically reconciled? Is that kind of part of one of the themes that we'll see? No. Um, it's not, I mean, like I said, I think that the, the, the bag of tricks to keep you, like, I hate people that bring up things and don't get answered. Like, I can't stand shows like that. I mean, I've really tried, and Jeff had tried, we all tried, you know, to, 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 to be, to t take the show for face value, this, you know, I just want you to experience it. I think we have enough good story to not have to trick you and make you feel upset <laughs> that you got ripped off. At least that's how I feel when I'm invested in a show and they kind of play games with me. But um, I, I wasn't interested in that. And, and I, I think the tricks are sort of, they're not important anymore. You know, like the idea of a of alternate universe of, of impact, what do you mean to the people in your life? What do they mean to you? Why am I here? All these things, is there another one of me in another universe and make different choices? That was really important for the thematic things that I was interested in saying then. And that was a reason why I, I, I went there. You know, at first when, when we were saying like, oh, this is a parallel universe and I want to spend half the time over there, everybody was an outrage. They're like, what? You know, you can't do that. We love all our characters. But there was a specific reason, you know, that I wanted to do it. And, and um, that's done. I've said those things. And, you know, now it's about something else. You know, now it's about what I honestly believe the world uh, is missing and, and what the world needs.
and why I'm trying to to, to say it. So so it doesn't really involve the the other universes coming together. It's it's, it's more about um, these characters that we've come to love for four years and watching them in real honest and sincere stakes and drama. Are we going to get a full book into the series, or will it be open ended? I'm not going to leave it open ended. I, I, I'm not interested in that. You know, like I, 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 I'll save that for a novel someday. You know, like where it's like, what happened? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> could be this. Could be that. I, 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 I think the fans deserve answers, and I think that they're going to get answers. And like I said, I just want to give that feeling of that even though I've seen the end, that I can leave and go home in my car and just think about it, and the next morning sort of say, fuck, I, I feel really satisfied, and 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 I, I can imagine. I can imagine their lives. Because I don't want to say goodbye. That's the shit. You know? I don't think you guys do either. Who wants to say goodbye? <laughs> you were just in a room full of a lot of fans that are fans of Fringe, but yeah. also a lot of fans of a lot of other shows. Yeah. Um, if those fans were sitting here today and they enjoyed enough of your panel, do you think they should be the ones to wait? Or should they catch up now and watch the final season? Yeah. Or do you think they should wait till the end and watch it as a completed unit of... I, I have to say, this has been a happy accident that we're starting from a new point. And, and uh, I think, you know, I would encourage people to go and watch everything and then kind of jump into to season five. The truth is you only really need to understand episode 419, which, which I, I did as an experiment. Um, because I didn't know what was going to happen at the end of that season. So I wanted to do an episode that was a backdoor pilot. That was my thing. You know, say like, oh, I'm slipping in at 19. So you don't, you know, nobody knows like, ah, oh, so it's just there. And, and in the spot tradition where we go a little askew anyway. So um, I would encourage them to watch it. Yeah, because I think it's a really exciting, you don't have to know every, like you don't really have to know. You just have to know that this is a family and it's really hard to keep together. And like it's hard. They should, they should vote for them. I, I don't know. I, I, I honestly believe that if people saw season one, two, and three, they would they would want to watch it. So hopefully. Since you brought it up, since that's supposed to be a book, um, not necessarily a book in a series, but you might have wanted to open that window of having a spinoff. Would you be open to still doing that? Well, traditionally, um, you know, part of the structure that I, I endorse is always to finish a chapter at the end of the season and then and then propose a new beginning. So this one will just not have a. Like, I don't want to make people believe that there's going to be something there isn't. I don't like that either. I think it's a dirty trick. If if it's, I'm just trying to, like I said, be straight up and say, here's a show, here's everything I have creatively. If it doesn't work, it's my fault, and this is it. You know, and and I love these people. I know you do too. Hopefully you'll feel the same. But uh, to propose that there's going to be something in the future also kind of like bug bugs me because I'm like, well, then I'm going to be sitting in my car going, damn, like, I want to see it. You know, <laughs> rather than just going, oh, it's, it's cool, I can imagine it. And then and then if there is something to be had, then I'm, I'm not short of ideas. So I think that if it's, if it's going to be reintroduced, there'll be some really cool way to, you know, to reintroduce French. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're pretty. Uh, they're pretty inventive at Fox and how to keep it alive. What's the government like under Observer rule? The government. It's very similar to um, kind of like Vichy France in a way. That it's like if you get uh, Nazis come in, they hire the French police to look after their own yeah. people. It's just a matter of time before they're all either dead or subjugated. You know, they take over buildings. And it's sort of something like that. So it's basically, you know, Broyles is, is working as a 19 for the Fringe Division, but in a very different capacity. He's, he's there to control, you know, the, the masses and who they and, and his people. We'll learn that there's there's a lot more to it. Um, but it's a, it's a kind of an interesting uh, interesting government uh, dynamic because everybody's kind of working under the radar. It, it really is like the French resistance. All right, I need to move, Joel. Great. Yeah.